My favorite visual of why a CPU versus a GPU really matters so much is a 15-year-old video on the NVIDIA YouTube channel, where the Mythbusters, they use a little robot shooting paintballs one by one to show solving problems one at a time or sequential processing on a CPU. <laughs> But then they roll out this huge robot that shoots all of the paintballs at once, doing smaller problems all at the same time, or parallel processing on a GPU. Three, two, one. So NVIDIA unlocks all of this new power for video games. Why gaming first? The video games uh, requires parallel processing for uh, processing 3D graphics. And we chose video games because, one, we loved the application. It's a simulation of virtual worlds, and who doesn't want to go to virtual worlds? And, and we had the good observation that video games has potential to be the largest market for, for entertainment ever. And it turned out to be true. And having it being a large market is important because the technology is complicated. And if we had a large market, our R&D budget could be large. We could create new technology. And that flywheel between technology and market and greater technology was, was really the flywheel that got NVIDIA to become one of the most important technology companies in the world. And it was all because of video games. I've heard you say that GPUs were a time machine. Yeah. Could you tell me more about what you meant by that? A GPU is like a time machine because it lets you see the future sooner. One of the most amazing things uh, anybody's ever said to me was a uh, quantum chemistry scientist. He said, Jensen, because of NVIDIA's work, I can do my life's work in my lifetime. That's time travel. He was able to do something that was beyond his lifetime, uh, within his lifetime. And, and that's because we make applications run so much faster. And so you get to see the future. And so when you're doing weather prediction, for example, you're seeing the future. When you're doing a, a simulation, a virtual city with virtual traffic, and we're um, simulating our self-driving car through that virtual city, we're doing time travel. 